Alright guys, what's up? This is Q&A number 5 for Top Chef Canada episode 5 that just came out. Uh, quick little shout out to Medium Rare. They've been sponsoring the last few uh, viewing parties, showing up some merch. We've got hats, we've got wristbands, we've got t-shirts. Um, they've also given us some aprons, so stay tuned on that. Shout out Medium Rare. Um, also, my sponsor, Perfect Sports. Trusted quality. Alright. Um, quick little recap of episode 5. So, quick fire, Richard Blaze, he's the Hall of Famer of Top Chef. Amazing, amazing chef, a role model for all of us. Um, he, we got to go meet him, we got to cook for him, as well as uh, Tristan and Genesis of Kids Food Nation. And the whole quick fire was simply we take foods that kids don't enjoy, so things like liver, kidney, cabbage, Brussels sprouts, anchovies, and turn it into a Top Chef level quality dish for them to enjoy. Um, go check that one out. And then for the elimination challenge, Renee got to strategically pick teams and we had to create uh, a fast casual concept, uh, restaurant concept from scratch, from the ground. We had two hours to prep and serve for 150 people. Check out the episode if you haven't watched it. It's insane. Um, but yeah, we also, I'll also let you, I guess the spoiler is me and Bennett, we were tech, we were, um, we're teamed up and we won the challenge. So 5K in the bag, first win, feels amazing. And yeah, let's get into these questions. So Facebook, Donna asks, do you feel like you have more confidence in yourself now that you've done a few episodes? Or do you feel like you did when you first started? Honestly, I feel like I did when I first started. It, there's always still gonna be those nerves. Um, you always, I still feel like the underdog, I always still do. I'm, I'm you know, the anti-chef on this show, the guy that doesn't cook often, doesn't have a restaurant, doesn't work in restaurants, I wear shorts and J's. Um, but yeah, like, I, I like, I like sort of having my back against the wall sometimes. Um, just gives me that extra momentum. In regards to confidence, I feel like if you want to be on Top Chef and Top Chef Canada, you've got to have confidence in yourself as well as your skills. And if you don't, then you shouldn't be on this show because no matter how much you prepare or if you prepare or how much recipes you know or how experienced you are in cooking, you can't really prepare yourself for these elimination challenges or these quick fires because you don't know what's coming. And add on, you know, cameras, lights and all that stuff and then everything sort of just gets thrown out the window. But to answer your question, do I have more confidence? I have just the same amount. Um, Still super, super confident. And yeah, so thanks for that question, Donna. All right, let's hop on to the IG. Um, if you don't follow me on IG, please do. Feel free, it's W26PackChef. Um, but yeah, all right. So Sylvan Wolf asks, what's the biggest takeaway you've had so far from your experience on Top Chef Canada? Well, it's been five episodes, and the biggest takeaway that I've got is just be you cook your food, um, have fun, have fun and really enjoy it and I hope you guys can see that during these competitions that yes they're stressful and you know they're meant to be sort of sometimes dramatic um, but at the end of the day it's just real cooking and that's what we do and I enjoy it as a competitor, I enjoy it as a chef and also enjoy it as a fan of the show. Um, so yeah that's the biggest takeaway is just trying to live it and enjoy every single moment of it whether you win, lose, draw, doesn't matter. Um, she asks also another question, which is, what's the best cheeses to use in a grilled cheese sandwich? Um, for me, I'm a big cheddar guy, provolone, mozzarella, um, sometimes with Havarti or um, a bocconcini or goes well in there. I like, I like really soft, mild cheeses um, per se, but I also like cheeses that sort of pull. Don't forget um, American cheddar cheese, American just yellow cheese that you get at like burgers and stuff. And I like mixed, I would mix all that together. Um, that would be my jam, so. Um, let's see here. Next one, why not over, amazing name. What's been your favorite challenge so far and which one has tested or pushed you the most? Um, I think my favorite challenge, um, hmm, I have to think back. I have to think back to all the challenges now. So we had, what was it? The, I'm going to just talk about elimination challenges probably, it makes it easier. So we had the Kira back one, talk about your family. We had the Air Transat, um, Restaurant Wars. We had, what was after Restaurant Wars? 
we had the Nordic Feast and then this one. Um, honestly, it might be, I've enjoyed all of them. I've enjoyed all of them. Like I said, I've just sort of taken them all by stride. But I, I guess maybe the first one. The first one might have been one of my, not, doesn't have to, doesn't have to be favorite, but it's the one that I'm like, it touches home a bit because it's about my family. It's about, it was like that first dish, the first taste that the judges are going to see, all your nerves and everything. And to be able to make, you know, a humble bowl of rice, congee, stand up amongst 14 amazing chefs. Um, that, that was really, really cool. Um, which one has tested or pushed you the most? Definitely going to be Restaurant Wars, I think. Restaurant Wars for sure. It's just the fact of Restaurant Wars and, yeah, Restaurant Wars. It's because it's... It's a full kitchen. It's there's so much pressure behind it. That's the insane one. Um, it's also the one that we always want to win, and obviously we didn't win that one. But that one def definitely tested and pushed because of the team. It's not individual. Um, Lucky Bird LA. <coughs> I'm sorry about that. Whoa, <coughs> Jesus. Um, Lucky Bird LA. They're an amazing um, sort of like fried chicken place up in LA. Uh, check them out. Where is he? Okay. Bjet123, could you make a delicious meal prep with four ingredients or less? I'm so tired from work, I need a little help with cooking healthy. Um, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely, I could totally make a delicious meal with four ingredients or less. It also depends, like, you know, are spices an ingredient or is salt and pepper an ingredient? If you're gonna say, like, you know, sp all those are not ingredients and, like, just main things, like, you know, the carbs and protein and stuff, um, yeah, but. Even if those ones are ingredients, I'd like to try it, you know, maybe I'm always up for a challenge, but I definitely think it's possible. It's totally, I can totally think it's possible. Um, Adrian Poon, his question is not food related, but he goes, making all these dad jokes, are you a dad now? That's not, uh, <laughs> it's because the post, I, I make some, I make some puns about cheeses, but anyways, I'm not a dad, absolutely not. Um, Pomenade asks, what's your favorite Cantonese breakfast? My favorite Cantonese breakfast, hands down, hands down, it's dollhouse sesame instant noodles with two fried eggs, um, luncheon meat, spam, hot dog, and, and some, and some uh, Asian toast with probably um, Chinese yin yang, um, which is a mix of tea and coffee together. Um, yeah, that's my that's like Canto breakfast for me. I think so. That add on a bowl of a bowl of preserved egg and minced meat congee with a honey cruller. I mean, with a fry cruller. Yep, that's like the ultimate Canto breakfast. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. All right, Trang T eighty four. What what is it that brought? What is your thought process when you first hear about the challenges and how do you go about attacking it? And how much time do they give you to come up with a dish? All right, so I can't answer the part about how much time we give you, just know for the fact, but I can't because it's, it's just part of like how the production stuff works, but I can tell you that it's not a lot. Literally, it's not like they give you a, they give you the challenge and then you can go la di da for hours and think about a dish. It's within, I can, without a doubt, I can say within like 10, 10 minutes we're cooking again. Um, but yes, so the question about thought process when you hear about the challenges, I literally go with what the challenge, the main uh, objective of the challenge is, what they're asking about us or want us to do, and then I take that and then I start running wild with it. Um, it really, my brain can go anywhere. I don't go one way or the other. So for instance, the one with the kids and anchovies, first thing I thought about was anchovies, was Italian, and then I thought of kids, and when I think of kids, I thought of pizza, and when I thought of pizza, I thought of Italian food, and so those two things sort of matched together, and that's where these um, this thing sort of came up to be, and then I thought of pizza, right? And then like, um, what do kids like to eat most? They like to eat with their hands, I like to eat with my hands, things that are a little messy, a little fun, so then dumplings came to mind. So sort of that was like the quick synopsis of how I came up with that dish on this episode. Um, yeah. Cool. That's the last question. So thanks guys for tuning in. That was episode five of Top Chef Canada. It's in, it's crazy to, to, you know, just look back and be like, I've made it five episodes. So many amazing chefs have been gone and I'm still here. Um, 
so it's super dope, super, super dope. Episode 6 comes out Monday on Food Network, 10 p.m. Eastern Time. Go check it out. Watch it on Food Network, or you can watch it after it airs on foodnetwork.ca under Top Chef. Feel free, as always, follow me on my Instagram, W26PackChef. You're already following here if you're watching. Hopefully you are. Um, what is it? My Twitter is w 2 wallace Wong, 6 pack chef and yeah, go to my website if you want to grab uh, one of these 6 pack chef a cut above tees, um, 6 pack chef .com. There's the, um, but yeah, and if you're also local, message me, don't have to sh send you uh, shipping, I can meet you up, this will save you some, some money, but yeah, until then, thanks guys for watching, episode 6 comes out, let's do this, peace.